is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous Pokemon Go video for you. And today we are talking about the new event coming up this weekend featuring the brand new to the game from Generation 3, Pokemon Clampearl. That's right, the other day in game, we all got this announcement and on their social media that they are once again doing another field research task day. Yes, yes, I know all of you are uh, triggered and alarmed, uh, as many of us were and still kind of are, but let's actually read their uh, announcement. It says, it's time to put your research skills to test. Professor Willow is looking to conduct limited research on the water type Pokemon, Clampearl. Spin the photo disc at nearby poke stops to obtain field research that will lead to encounters with the tough shelled bivalve Pokemon. While you're comp completing research, keep an eye out for other water type Pokemon, such as Krabby and Whalmer. See details below. So it's the event times as normal from like community days. It is this weekend, February 23rd. Uh, find the link uh, below and you can find your respective times and areas it features. This time we will get two times the catch Stardust for every and all water type Pokemon during the three hour window. You will also get water Pokemon to appear more frequently along with that. There's a lot of shiny possibilities. So uh, it could still be a very fun and successful three hours. Limited research tasks will be available when you spin photo discs at Pokestops. Completing the limited research task will award you encounters with Clampearl. Clampearl might clam up during the limited research, so exploring is key. As long as you've collected the limited research during the event window, you can complete it at any time. Don't forget to need to venture onward to many poke stops in order to uh, get new field research tasks to encounter as many Clampearls as possible. So, with that announcement being said, one thing we already have an improvement on is guaranteed water type spawns uh, increased. So that's really cool. We also are getting uh, the two times catch star dust for those water types as well and then this time there's no word of shiny which that I mean yes bummer but at the same time then we don't have the stress of like trying to figure out if we one if it's locked behind a certain stop like they did on Squirtle Day or two when they did on Phoebus Day where it was just like so scarce so um I'm, I'm not too worried that there's not a shiny being mentioned. Uh, and I would not be surprised if no shiny showed up at all. And I would not be worried because then there's that less amount of stress to the situation and the event itself, along with less expectation and less disappointment. Again, we saw the same as last time though with the research tasks. Uh, it's all the same research tasks as they hint again that you'll need to venture onward. So the, the suggestion that we gave of maybe, you know, uh, allowing more than just one for those three hour windows to drop from the poke stops was uh, apparently not uh, adopted for this event. So again, we still have much to discover with this event. It is a brand new styled event that they're doing in the game. The last one did not do well, according to the mass majority. But it's not to say that it was a complete 100% flop. I mean, hello, it was not GoFest. None of us invested hundreds of dollars and were screwed over. So uh, we have an opportunity here to look at another event and, and, and hope that they actually have corrected it, gotten good feedback, and have uh, fixed it. So that way, this time, it is a profitable event for everyone and everybody feels accomplished. That's the goal. And that's really what Niantic should be concentrated on, is for the majority whole part, they want to make sure that their trainers feel accomplished. So I'm hoping that that's what they're going with here. I would not mind not seeing Shiny Clamperl. And don't fret, we also have confirmation from our global community manager at Niantic, Alolan Bunny. If you don't follow her on Twitter, here is her Twitter. She's an amazing person. She's very dedicated to the community and she has cleared for us and let us know that Clamperl will be available in the wild after the event. 
So yes, some people were upset again that they did not announce this in enough time for people to call it off from work. But again, don't worry, it will be available after the event. Along with all of that, as I said, it's gonna be increased water spawns. Wow, we're gonna have so many shiny options. Seriously, like this is gonna be uh, event-wise and spawn-wise, it's gonna be like a community weekend three-hour window thing. Remember when we had community weekend where it was all the Pokemon from 2018's year of community days? It's like that with water, but not community day Pokemon, just random shiny. And I can't wait because there's a lot of these shinies I don't have, especially Krabby. So I'm excited. I'm gonna give it another chance. It's this weekend. Get ready. It's it was announced pretty soon. A little behind on making sure I get a video out, but hey, tie up those laces, get your gear ready, because there's a new Pokemon coming, and it's from Gen 3, and it helps to complete that Dex. So you want it. Yes, you do, because it also has two evolutions. So when you catch Clamperl in the games, you have a uh, deep sea scale and a heart scale, if I remember correctly. And each one of them separates and you get Grobus. I don't know if I'm associating the right item to the right Pokemon, so don't correct me. You get Grobus out of one of them and you get Huntail out of the other. So in the game, it's also been confirmed for this that the evolutions will be random. So you'll either get Grobus or you'll get Huntail. And yes, I said Grobus, but it's Gorbus. Pokemon Go has also helped me to learn that I'm probably a little bit dyslexic. Anyways, get excited because three new Pokemon are coming to the game this weekend. So, yay. Moving on to the other kind of more maybe important news that we have discovered. Data miner Charles on Twitter discovered in the game app, the APK, the coding, there's a new medallion coming, the team changing medallion. Yes, quite literally. Uh, we don't know so much about it yet, but it is a medallion that you will be able to use once every 365 days you can purchase from the store and change your team. Now, many people are like about this because they're like uh, ride or die with their team. Some people are excited about this because, you know, some people understand the literalness that this is a video game, y'all. And realistically, there is no benefit and there is no scoring or ranking system to being on any other team as opposed to the other. It's all popularity contest. So, realistically, for some people, they look at it that way and they go, you know what, hell yeah, I'm gonna change teams, this will be fun. They look at it as a challenge or they just look at it as a change for themselves. So, uh, either way, it's an exciting new feature coming to the game, uh, period. That is definitely a almost quite literal game changer, even though there is no uh, aspect in the game that is affected really by your specific team as opposed to others. So again, it, it sounds fun to me. Am I gonna change from Valor? No, but still, that's a really cool option. And I'll be honest, if I was gonna change a team at all, I would honestly change to Instinct. But I'm not gonna switch. We are Valor strong, we are staying Valor strong, because uh, when there's Valor, there's no protection from the flame. I never really got into the sayings. Again, it's it's just a game. Valor for life, but it's also a game. Either way, some exciting new updates coming to the game. Get excited. Get ready for this weekend. Uh, if you are interested in changing your team, uh, stock up some coin, because I guarantee you it's going to be a spendy one for sure to be able to actually change your team. So if you want to do that, stock up on those coins for sure, for sure. But either way, get ready these events and these uh, features in game are coming very soon if not definitely this weekend so that's it for this video we're gonna wrap it up there please scroll down give me that like maybe consider subscribing if you're not and if you are subscribed be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that we are notified of the next adventure also comment down below let me know if you're excited for clam pearl or not and let me know if you're gonna change your team. But we will see you in the next one. Stay fabulous. Bye!